a little bit of intermediate advanced jiu-jitsu. We're going to mix the gator with the darts. We're also going to show the gator just straight up from half guard, okay? Knowing that we're going to close the elbow off with our leg instead of running towards them like the gator. Traditionally, we're going to jump there from half guard, okay? Let's look at it ahead. So maybe I'm in half guard and he's got his underhook and I've got my wizard. A lot of guys like to play this game, but the, most of the guys that I see playing this game, they're kind of just sitting here bullying their opponent. They're not actually passing the guard. You can tell if they're truly knowledgeable about passing the guard and trying to slide through and that kind of stuff. A lot of, a lot of wrestlers I teach or MMA fighters or submission grappling type only guys, not, not formal Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu high level guys. They're like, a lot of them will just bully here, not let a guy sweep them, but they're not really passing either. So I don't like to be in that position. Nevertheless, um, there's stuff that you can do from there, okay? So I've got the overhook. And what I'm going to reach for with this right hand is I'm going to be cupping his triceps. Watch. So I shoot through. I'll just show that part. That's where I'm coming with my hand. Okay, I'm trying to get to that arm hit. So I've got the arm in. I've got the head and arm now. And I'm going to pull my arm through. And I'm not even closing my hands. I'm switching because I can even switch, transfer to the regular gator, use my knee, close it off, and tap him. Okay. So I'm here, maybe I'm head and arm, I'm playing the game this way, or even with my knee through, kind of that head and arm this way, I'm going to slide my knee through and start to grab his arm, pushing it over, go for the traditional gator, you could run towards him and hook, or what I like to do is just, don't miss me Levi, is just push the tricep with your knee. Okay, this one's gonna be if he blocks, because this happens to me a lot. Like I kept track of this this week. I did it 21 times. Literally, I counted. Okay, it's 21 times. And I do the darts a lot as well if they block with their hands. So I jump over I'm to this point. I'm starting to lock this up. He starts to take his hand. And he's fighting my free hand. He knows I have to close it off with this. Right? He turns towards him. Right? He knows I'm trying to fight off. And if he lets go, I'm closing the gator, right? So, so that he doesn't come up or start rotating or anything like that. You can counter grip him if you want, but I'm going to put my shin across his, his elbow like that, right? Then I'm going to come up onto that, onto that knee. Okay, so let's turn a little bit more. So now I still have his armpit gripped, and I, and I have his neck really deep. I'm going to switch this arm all the way in and put it on top so that this arm can just rotate out. Right into the darts, lean on him and keep his arm trapped, and they'll choke him. <coughs> I'm in half guard. I've got a head and arm bully headlock here. I move out and start to transfer. He starts to block. Put my leg over, come on top, grab my tricep so that I can just rotate into the darts and cause pressure. Can show up from a slightly different angle. A couple times here. Headlock, I start to move, and I'm going to start to go for this choke. He's blocking. I use my knee. I come on top. I grab my tricep. It rotates around. Grab and bite into the back. Lean forward. Pause the choke. And then more. This way. Hit with half guard. Now, one of the other things I can do when I'm coming up for this, okay, just, just going in, into the control is if he has, if I have the gator and he's still got a big old underhook on me, okay, maybe I feel like I'm going to lose the gator, maybe Levi's doing it to me and he's lighter, he can feel my power coming up, whatever the case may be, but especially for MMA fighters, it's a, cru it's a crucifix position. So, I get to this, I get to this or er, position here. I start going here, he blocks, blocking the gator, and he's got this underhook still. I put my arm, my leg on top, and now I can't quite finish the darts. So what I'm gonna do is I hold that chin width, come up over here. I'm holding this chin width just to mess with them. Right, I can try and guillotine him a little bit, I'm just bullying him. But all I'm doing is distracting him so that I can do this. Now I've got him pinned, turn, 
Now I've got him pinning the crucifix, and I can sit here and thump on him or start to do jujitsu submissions, whatever you want to do, right? So I'm here, boom, jump out, he blocks, oh, I come up, he's still got it, maybe I'm smaller, maybe my arms are too thick, I can't finish it. Use that chin whip, start choking him a little bit, bend his head, get the underhook, and now I'm in the crucifix. And you notice, my shin's still in the same spot, so his arm's caught. It's a true crucifix, it's not just like he's in between my legs there. Alright, one more. <laughs> 